everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to learn how to make this very simple uh, bikini top this is taking us back to the basics because we have done so many tops so many uh, bralette designs that involve this approach of um, bra cups and i just thought it would be a really quick tutorial since people are maybe looking for summer tops and this is a bikini top so we are going to just keep it simple and easy but the main detail here is that scalloped edge that someone requested for one of the comments on my youtube channel so uh, we have the scallops here and for the materials i used uh, alize cotton gold which is a mixture of acrylic and cotton so it's 45 percent acrylic and 55 percent cotton so um rest assured it makes a very good um, material for swimsuit swimwear bikinis and everything so if you have access to this yarn it's one of the best yarns for swimwear and uh, for the hook it recommends a two to four millimeters so i wanted to be on the tighter side and i went for a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook then you also need a darning needle and a pair of scissors and a tape measure if you must have one that is totally optional so i'm going to be linking some of the tops that you can try out with these bra cups because we have so many tutorials that you can try out from my channel so i'll leave all the links to those tops so that after learning how to make this bra cup you can go and try out the several designs that you can work with using the same exact bra cups okay all right so let's get started i know that some people are really biased about using double crochet stitches for their bra cups so if you're one of those people please uh, check out the link on the screen it has how to make a bralette using single crochet stitches and use that approach of single crochet to make your bra cups and then you can come back to this video to learn how to make the scalloped edging that's the the straps and everything that comes afterwards so yeah okay so for today's tutorial i'll be demonstrating for a size small because this is the order that i have received but i'll be giving general instructions of how you can um make this top to fit you in particular so your desired size so the first thing that you're going to measure is from the middle of your bust up to the base of your bust so just get that measurement from the middle of your bust to the base of your bust and make that chain so for me i chained a total of 16. so you're going to start off with a slip knot and you're going to make a, to a chain of 16 or whatever measurement that you've gotten after measuring your middle bust up to the base of your bust so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen so i have my 16 chains here and once you get that measurement you're going to chain three more and double crochet into that fourth chain from the hook so this is not counted as a stitch so you're going to count one two three and into the fourth you're going to prepare for a double crochet and you're going to double crochet into that fourth uh, chain from the hook so i forgot to mention this tutorial is worked in us terms so this is a double crochet you're going to continue to double crochet all the way across your chain Alright, continue to double crochet all the way across the chain, placing one double crochet into each and every chain across.
okay so um we've placed one double crochet into each and every chain across including the very last chain so into that very chain you're going to place two more double crochets to make a total of three double crochets into the last chain so the last chain right now has three double crochets and then you're going to chain two and double crochet three more times into the same exact chain so one two and three and now we are going to turn to the back of our chain working into those chains and placing one double crochet into each and every chain so as you work your double crochets you're going to make sure you're working around that tail so that we can get rid of it so just continue to double crochet into each and every chain working around the tail as well just to weave it in as we go All right, so we are coming to the end of our row and we have to place a double crochet into the very last chain. And now uh, that marks the end of row one. Sorry, my yarn is getting caught and I don't want to get any knots. I don't want to break my yarn. Okay. All right, so we're going to row two and for row two, you're going to chain three and that counts as our very first double crochet. Turn your work and you're going to place one double crochet into each and every stitch because, okay, the chain three is attached to the very first stitch. So you're going to start from the second stitch with the double crochet and double crochet all the way up until you get to the chain two space. Alright, so I'm placing my last double crochet into the stitch right before the chain 2 space, as you can see. And into the chain 2 space, you're going to place two double crochets into that space, chain 2, and two more double crochets. And that's it for the chain 2 space. And now you're going to continue to place one double crochet into each of the remaining stitches until the end of the row. So one tip that I have to give you guys is if you choose to use um, double crochet stitches for your bra cups, please make sure that you go for the smaller hooks because this is a long stitch and it can easily open up the stitches when it's stretched. So when you're going for double crochet uh, stitches for your bra cups, Make sure you're using smaller hooks. Don't go for a five millimeter yet you're using um, double crochet stitches unless you have a tight tension. But if you have no more tension to loose tension, then please don't use the bigger hooks when using double crochet stitches for your bra cups. 
so we are done with our second row and the third row is just going to be the same you're going to chain three turn your work and we are going to repeat row two basically so the chain three is attached to the first stitch so we are starting from the second stitch placing our double crochet and going all the way up until the chain two space and once you reach the chain two space you will place two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets and then finish up your row so let me just demonstrate that one more time and then I'll leave you guys to build up your bra cup to your desired fitting So I'm placing my last stitch before the chain two space and in the chain two space you're going to place two double crochets, chain two and two more double crochets into the same space and after that you're going to place one double crochet into each and every stitch until the end of the row and this is how your work should look like very neat and intact. Of course these are stitches sometimes you see the spaces through but the spaces shouldn't be very large make sure you don't have large spaces otherwise um, the client's boobs are going to be out unless if you are going to line your work or pad it then you can go for that approach but if you're not make sure your stitches are very tight All right, so as you can see, the bra cup is already forming. Uh, it's giving room for the breast to fit into the, the bra cup. And that's the shape that you're seeing. If you see your work starting to curl, please don't touch it. Don't straighten it out or don't flatten it. This is how it's supposed to be so that it creates room for um, the bust to fit into it so if you see something a shape like this please don't be scared just continue working it will make a lot of sense later on so i am going to repeat the row until i get enough coverage for my uh small size otherwise um just continue working that row row two until you get enough coverage for your bust so just keep trying it on yourself until you get your desired fitting and i'll meet you back and let you know how many rows that i did for mine and we shall carry on from there okay so once you have the coverage that you need for yours i've made a total of seven rows one two three four five six and seven and i am making for a size small so i have my bra cup ready and now we are going to create those scallops that are on the edge of the bra cups. So um, after your last row, this is going to be the final row on the edge of the bra cup. So you're going to chain one and turn your work. And then you're going to single crochet into the very first stitch. So single crochet and then chain two. And you're going to place two more, two more double crochets into the same exact stitch where we place the single crochet. So prepare for a double crochet and place a total of two double crochets into that same exact stitch, the very first stitch. And this is what you'll have. You're going to skip two stitches and then single crochet into the third. And that has created our very first scallop, as you can see here. And we're going to repeat that chain two and into the same exact um, stitch where you place the single crochet you're going to place a total of two more double crochets so one 
and two and then you're going to skip two stitches and single crochet into the next so you can see how that is creating those little scallops along the edge of the bra cup we are going to continue this chain two two double crochets into the same stitch skip two stitches and single crochet into the next so go all the way up until you get to the chain to space i'll show you what to do from there So I'm almost getting to the chain two space and I have three stitches left so I'll skip these two and single crochet into the, the next stitch and now we've reached the chain two space and now what we are going to do you're going to place a single crochet into the chain two space and that will be the exact middle stitch so we have these scallops going on around here and we are going to single crochet into the next stitch like that on this other side and we are going to just repeat the same exact process so chain two double crochet two times into the same exact space like that skip two stitches and single crochet into the next and repeat that Sorry, make sure it's always a chain two, not a chain three. Because the chain three will create a very big space. So just repeat that all the way down to the base of the bra cup. I don't know why I always forget and chain three. But make sure it's always a chain two. So you can see the scallops are crossing over from this side onto the opposite side and that is creating a very cute detail it may be small this is totally optional it could be small but it gives a lot of detail and a very good final touch for your bra cup So we're coming to the end and I'm placing my very last scallop as you can see skip the two stitches and into the last stitch you're going to place a single crochet and then after that you're going to chain one and cut your yarn leaving a tail to weave in so you're going to pull through and this is what we have so um, the next thing that we're going to do is to create our strap so get your yarn and attach it into the single crochet that we made in the chain two space there's that single crochet that i told you was the exact middle of our bra cup so you're going to attach your yarn into that stitch and you are going to chain three if you want to go for a more basic strap then you're going to just make a normal chain but i want some detail on my strap so chain three go into the same exact stitch with a double crochet and then chain three go into the two stitches below with a double crochet like that chain three go into the two stitches below with a double crochet and you're going to repeat that until we have the length of the strap that we want this just helps us to get a more sturdy or strong strap that doesn't cut through the skin when we tighten uh, the bikini top at the back of our neck so this is uh, easier on the skin than just a normal chain but if you want the spaghetti straps, then just go for a normal chain. It would be just fine. 
alternatively if you don't want to use this approach just uh, double up your strand and make a normal chain so that it gets some thickness So I have done a total of 40 segments of the small spaces and then after this you're going to chain one and you're going to cut your yarn. Alternatively you can watch my other video of how to make straps, I'll be leaving it on the screen and if you want that thicker approach then just make sure to check out this video on the screen and um, it will give you guidance on how to make the strap thicker but for now this is what I have and after this you're going to cut your yarn and pull through and we have our very first bra cup as well as the strap ready and now the next thing that we are going to do is to repeat the same exact process for our second strap I already have mine here make sure those sorry for the second bra cup not the second strap the second bra cup and make sure you have an identical look just like i have here make sure your pieces are identical and now we are going to place the lower strap the one that ties at the base of the bust um so what i'm going to do is I'm going to double my strand this time. I don't want the strap to be very thin. And the fact that I'm using a 2.5 and a thinner yarn, if I just use one strand, it's going to turn out very, very thin. So let me just use two strands and make a very long chain. As you can see, we have some thickness now. Just continue to chain until you have a strand that's long enough, a chain that's long enough. I'll let you know how many chains that I did for mine. Alright, so I have a total of 200 chains for my lower chain and I'm going to cut my yarn and pull through and now um, the next thing that we are going to do is uh, place it through the base of our bra cups. Now I have my dunning needle here, that's what I usually want to use because I don't like using a crochet hook because it usually pinches on my stitches which messes them up. So you're going to make sure your work is facing the same direction, facing upwards. And I am going to just go in and out of every row. I'm going to just go from here into each and every row, just in and out. Like that and I'm going to pull through that way I'm not tampering with my stitches at least I know that dunning needle is smooth enough to pass through the rows without uh, pinching on the stitches to disorganize them so you're going to pull on it a bit and then you do the same for this side same exact thing Oh, 
right so we have both our bra cups placed onto the lower string or strap and you can see this is adjustable if you want the bra cups to go separate ways a bit to create a lot of uh, cleavage room then you can slide it on on this string you can slide the bra cups on this string and you'll get the fitting that you want so the moment you're done with this you are going to just get your darning needle and weave in all your ends You're also going to get rid of all the loose strands that are laying around. And there you have it. You have your very simple scalloped edge bikini top. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.